As a millennial that is trying to stay fashionable and sew her own wardrobe, I have now just figured out what I want to sew for summer. Even though I know summer is half over, I'm still going to share with you what I plan on sewing and hopefully it provides some inspiration for your own sewing adventures. The first pattern I have that I absolutely have to make is the Shetegna shorts by Deer and Doe. They are giving some real Dr. Sattler vibes from Jurassic Park, and I absolutely love them. Um, I do have some fabric for these. I think it's listed as a khaki. Um, it is a twill, and the color I think can go with anything really. And so I'm hoping just to make like a very versatile pair of shorts that go with everything. And I think they're somewhat fashionable, so I'm, a, I'm just gonna go with it. So the next pattern I have is from the company called Wissu. It's a French company and it's called the Flory Shirt. Apparently Cottagecore is out and Coastal Grandmother is in. And I feel this shirt can sort of fit in between both categories and be a chameleon. So fabric for this is actually fabric I've already used before. Um, this is 100% cotton and it's pretty light and flowy. I made a skirt with this. And I I don't know what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna dye it or leave it this, this sort of pale pink color or maybe use the moon print that I already did on it. Either way, I have some non-stretch lace from my grandma. So I think I will use this one for along the collar of the blouse and then this one for along the body of the blouse. And I've never worked with non-stretch lace, so this could be quite interesting. The next pattern I have is just a wardrobe staple, the Ogden Cami by True Bias. I see it pop up all the time on Instagram and basically it always looks great and will be perfect for layering in the fall and spring as well as being basically timeless. And so for this, I have two fabrics. I'm gonna make two versions. They're both going to be upcycling. Um, the first one, I love this. This is a hemp blend. I do not fit into the skirt anymore, but I cannot part with this fabric. I absolutely love it. So there's going to be plenty, so I can easily make an Ogden cami out of this. The second fabric, I, I cannot wear this shade of blue. I, I cannot. <laughs> it does not look good on me. So hopefully I can get enough fabric off of this dress that I made and upcycle this into an Ogden cami. And what I think I'm going to do is be a little more experimental. And I think I'm going to over dye this with maybe just like a darker blue and maybe do some shibori. I haven't quite figured that out, but either way it cannot stay this color blue. The next pattern I'm hoping to get to is the Luana apron dress from the fabric store. It's a free pattern and I've been sort of eyeing this dress up for a very long time. I think it sort of goes with the coastal grandmother vibe without being so coastal grandmother. Depending on how you layer the dress with cardigans, purse, shoes, I think the dress can fit in many different styles, many different categories. And so hopefully it's something that I can continue to wear without being 100% out of place. I do know I wanna make some changes to this. I probably will elasticate the waistband and I will make the top a little more fitted. I have two fabric choices. So we already discussed that this blue is not going to work for me. And so this will have to be dyed most definitely if I want to use it, but it's 100% cotton. It's really nice and airy. So I think it could be worth giving it a chance again. And the second is 100% linen. I have used this to make a skirt as well. It's a little heavier, but I think this pattern might require a little heavier fabric, especially with how the top is structured. I think a linen could be better than a cotton. So I'm leaning towards the linen, but I'm not sure I have enough. Last but not least, I need to make another 
bra. And so I'm going to use the Lansdowne bra from Orange Lingerie. I have already extensively altered this pattern, but I wasn't too happy with the fabric I chose. Um, I ended up using a rayon and I felt like the rayon didn't hold up very well over time. And I'm actually going to make an entire separate video on that and what I plan to do. So I already have some mercerized cotton that feels very strong. And so I'm going with a monochromatic look. However, the bra supplier order from was out of black bra tool. So I am, I went with hot pink. Those are the five patterns I plan on sewing as a millennial attempting to stay fashionable, but not too fashionable that what I sew goes out of style the next season. I will be making a video on each project as I get there. And I hope this has provided some inspiration for your upcoming sewing projects.